सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग वन टाइप ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर दैट इज डबल पाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर वेयर वी विल बी लुकिंग इन टू वॉट इज अ डबल पाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ डबल पाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर्स द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ डबल पाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर्स इट्स यूजेज एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट्स फर्स्टली वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट What is a double pipe heat exchanger? A double pipe heat exchanger is a type of heat exchanger that consists of two concentric pipes. One fluid flows through the inner pipe and the other fluid flows through the annular space between the two pipes. The two fluids do not mix but they transfer heat through the walls of the pipes. As shown in the photo on the right side it clearly explained You can see cold fluid going in and warmed water is coming out from the other end and this is because of the hot fluid inlet in the shell side and that makes the cold fluid warmer by transferring the heat. Now nextly we will see advantages and disadvantages of double pipe heat exchangers. In which firstly the advantages of double pipe heat exchangers include they are relatively simple and inexpensive to manufacture then secondly they are compact and lightweight making them easy to transport and install and lastly they are capable of handling a wide range of fluids including viscous fluids and fluids with high fouling potential now next is the disadvantages of double pipe heat exchangers include they have a relatively low heat transfer coefficient which means that they are not as efficient as some other types of heat exchangers then secondly they are limited in terms of the amount of heat that they can transfer furthermore we'll discuss where are double pipe heat exchangers used double pipe heat exchangers are commonly used in a variety of industrial applications to transfer heat between two fluids Some practical applications of double pipe heat exchangers include Double pipe heat exchangers are commonly used in a variety of industrial applications to transfer heat between two fluids. Some practical applications of double pipe heat exchangers include heating and cooling of process fluids in chemical and petrochemical plants. Then in heat recovery systems in power plants. then in heating and cooling of fluids in food processing plants then in hvac systems in buildings also to heat exchange in refrigeration systems in waste heat recovery in industrial processes double pipe heat exchangers are typically used for low to medium flow rates and can handle a wide range of temperatures and pressures they are relatively simple to design and operate and can be easily maintained making them a popular choice for many industrial processes the basic components of a double pipe heat exchanger are the inner pipe which carries the hot or cold fluid then the outer pipe which carries the cold or hot fluid then the connecting pipes which connect the inner and outer pipes and the end caps which seal the ends of the heat exchanger You can clearly see the component in the photo attached here. The inner and outer pipes can be made of a variety of materials including steel, copper and stainless steel. The connecting pipes and end caps are typically made of the same material as the inner pipe. Next is how heat transfer takes place in a double pipe heat exchanger. Heat is transferred between the two fluids in a double pipe heat exchanger through the walls of the pipes. The rate of heat transfer is determined by a number of factors including the temperature difference between the two fluids, the surface area of the pipes and the thermal conductivity of the materials of the pipes. Moving further we will see the applications of double pipe heat exchangers. Double pipe heat exchangers are used in a wide variety of applications including heating and cooling fluids condensing and evaporating fluids processing fluids cooling engines and other machinery so concluding the video summaries as 
Double pipe heat exchangers are a simple and effective way to transfer heat between two fluids. They are relatively inexpensive to manufacture and can be used in a wide variety of applications. So guys that's all for this video. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. For more videos related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety, you can subscribe to these channels.